In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to shoot a docu-style commercial using only one light or none at all. I want my kids to learn how to be self-sufficient and live on a farm, but also appreciate your home. Even if it's small, I want my kids to, to recognize like they don't need to have this large, glorious house. Like They can have a small house, and it's OK. I think it's also too important that they understand the responsibility of having animals and having to take care of them and make sure they eat and have water. And just like how I was when I was in 4-H, um, and it was a program I was growing up, but I was responsible for my own horses and responsible for cleaning them, grooming them, you know, making sure all of my equipment to show was right and ready to go before the horse show and for the fair. And that kept me off the streets. That kept me off away from having friends that like wanted to go do something else. Today I'm breaking down this project I did up in Maryland. Uh, this was actually for a small family that owns a little small ranch. They do a lot of little rides and experiences for little kids. Let's start from the beginning here. The type of look I was going for, I was going for um, all natural lighting as much as I can. And the main shots that we're going to talk about are right here. And we're going to talk about the scene, the scene in the kitchen right here. You can see the light, we have some light rays coming through. So that's one, that's one scene that we're gonna focus on for this breakdown. And then the other scene is gonna be the end here, or the interview. So the end here with this interview, we're gonna break down how we did the lighting setup for this because I really, I really love the way I was able to get this done. And then we're just gonna discuss, you know, how I achieved this look right here. So let's talk about it right here. As you can see, we're obviously in this nice rustic kitchen. Uh, they had a lot of hardwood, like dark wood cab cabinetry and hardwood floors. And so the light that's blasting in here, the, lights that, the light, light that's coming in through this window was not getting reflected and bounced and recreating uh, overall brightness and ambience that I didn't really want. So the cabinets, the cabinet, cabinetry and the furniture was absorbing a lot of light, which is really what I wanted. Which makes this look good so I can shape the light. I wasn't doing too much shaping of the light, honestly. I just love, I just planned the timing. I use one of my favorite apps called Sun Surveyor. And I timed this to perfectly happen in the morning because I knew sun was shining straight through this window early in the morning. So I had the family get up so I can film at this time while she's making breakfast with the family. And so we are able to get the shot and that brought out my little haze machine so we can get the haze that you see here, right? So this haze coming, this haze, all this haze right here is from my haze machine. Given the fact that I timed this perfectly to have the sun be coming through the window, that's how I was able to get the sun ray. And then the, the uh, furniture is absorbing most of the light. But then on this side right here, over this side, there's a big white wall that's bouncing the light back this way. So it, you know, these guys wouldn't be, wouldn't be too like harsh of a shadow, you know? And since the sun is, is super low on the horizon because it's early in the morning, uh, I'm not gonna get super harsh shadows. So you can see how the light's falling off nice and smoothly right here to the shadow side. That is how we were able to get that, that shot. Let's go back here. You can see it from the other side. And as you can see, like this, the walls are white right here on this side. This other wall right here is white as well. So it created a little bit of a fill on the face to make it not too dark. As you can see, this is a little bit a lot darker than her face right there. So again, you know, the haze machine is creating the, the light rays is what I really want and it worked out great and it's really just all about waiting for the right time it's all about just waiting for the right time and preparing your shots when you're trying to use a natural light um when you're running on a low budget even when you're running by yourself it's always waiting for the right time so you can get the exact shot you want without having a huge budget obviously so you know patience is very key when it comes to that you're very being very patient and being in like 
just waiting it will allow you to get a shot like this or even better shot now let's go over this part of the video here right here at the end now we didn't we didn't include a lot of the interview section in the actual final commercial um however i just wanted to add this clip in because i really love the way i i ended up with this look now i'm going to show you a top view of this look right now you could see that we're using natural light from the window and then we just had a nice little fill to help a boost but we're boosting from the same side as the key coming from the window so take a look at the frame right here you can see that the window is just out of frame to the left right here right coming and the lights coming in natural lights coming in and this is what we did we shot this later in the day so the sun would be high enough to be bright enough to come through the window since the sunrise is coming from this side of the building this was the this was shot in the afternoon when the sun is coming from the other side coming down so uh during this interview from the same side that we're getting the source of light from the window i also used an sl60w with a nice big diffuser blasting on the same side just to fill in her face and basically pretend like it's the same light coming from the window basically doing the same thing that I, I that we've talked about in previous videos doing a sun wrap from the same same side as the key to help with the fill to actually create your fill from the same side instead of trying to fill from this way that is going to create a more natural look because you're just emphasizing the natural light that's already there now i had this practical on in the background i exposed for the practical because i didn't have the window frame the window in frame so i exposed for this practical and then lit accordingly so we can get a good exposure on her face and that is all i did for this setup to get this good of a look and i was using my favorite lens the 35 millimeter and that is it for the interview section and then everything else was done natural light and just waiting for the right time so as you can see here this is early in the morning um right as the sun is coming up from the horizon over there and that's what i'm doing obviously i'm having the camera on the sh pointing the camera on the shadow side so i can get nice contrast the shadows wrapping around to the camera side so i can see the depth here is the same window from the interview section this is the same window right here however i'm just using all the natural light coming in to light this up so i can get some nice shape on these hats you can see the nice little shadow shadows being created here from the special light everything's just wrapping around to the back and obviously i have the camera on the shadow side of the subject so the subject being this little horse saddle now let's continue all right here here we go again you can see we're doing some nice backlighting and having the camera on the shadow side of the subject so we can get some nice uh, shaping of the shadow with the light. You can see here, you can see how the sun is edge lighting the subject. And since we're filming at such a shallow, shallow depth of field, I was shooting almost wide open at 2.1, T2.1, but the background is super blurry and subject is being separated because we're backlighting them. And then this shot right here, the hero shot, I uh, used a gimbal and obviously I backlit the family again. So they're separated from the background. You can see the nice edge there on the, on them. I use the gimbal here at the end to push in and then tilt up. And then we just drop, drop in a smile right here because this is my favorite shot of the whole thing, the interview section. And then that's it. So uh, I hope you like this breakdown of how I do, you know, basic a one man band and we're just waiting for the right time to get the perfect light and the simple interview setup simple one light interview setup using natural light uh so i'll see you guys in the next one peace